Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Uh, today is Wednesday, May 15th. I'll be going my recap for today. Um, so today I made um, a few mistakes uh, which caused me to have um, a reasonable sized loss. Um, so let's get started here. So ADXS. So I made a bad decision to enter this in the first minute. Uh, which I usually don't um, so I think uh, the problem here was because I saw this uh, on the daily you can see there's some uh, support and resistance here uh, at the 370 area um, but I think because they had this overhead uh, pre-market uh, sell-off here uh, it didn't work out as well uh, but what I saw was this 370 area was starting to become resistance. Uh, I think if if this didn't break out uh, pre-market 370, uh, it would have been a better entry when it break 370. But pretty much I bought the break of 370 there. And then I think I got filled at like 76 or so. Um, and then pretty much still at the low here. Um, and that was a $93 on the first three minutes of the day. So I started to try to dig myself out of the hole, but um, eventually this just started to fade off. Um, so I'm gonna try to make good practice and not to sell, not to trade uh, the first minute unless there's a, a better pattern. Um, so my next trade, BYMD. So BYMD, um, this had a one minute, or is it the five minute? Yeah, so one minute reversal um, to retest the five minute. So it reached the five minute 90 in May um, when it broke the one minute trend there. Um, so uh, what happened was I saw this uh, kind of cup and handle break um, and then it fell to br uh, break above 90 here. Um, so I went to take that as a risk. Uh, initially, it had like a wick down here below these highs. Uh, then I stopped out. Um, then I re-added when I saw that 90 fell to break. And then I added more and covered uh, the majority of my shares here um, at the 87. Um, I took it off break even um, just because um, I think there was any reason to take it off. Uh, but it was just retesting this area and then it went ahead and uh, touched the 9 EMA on the 5 minute here. Um, it started to trail uh, a little higher um, afterwards. So you can see it start breaking out from this flag. My um, next trade was CLRB. So CLRB, um, I think it was a quick scalp. Um, I think the, the place to buy was around this area, but I went ahead and tried to buy this next, uh, next, uh, high here. Um, it actually pulled back and you can see a little wick. So it had a little, uh, mini cup and handle with that wick uh, and broke out. And I just sold because I didn't see much follow through. Um, Plus there was a little bit of uh, resistance at this three area. I mean, that was just a $22 winner. Um, Uber, so I took a big loss here. Um, I think uh, one reason was because um, I sized in a little too big. Um, and then uh, there was some false signals that uh, got me chopped, chopped in, uh, which I try to avoid. Um, but I saw this 41 area here was um, having a hard time um, acting as a resistance uh, because back in the first day of the IPO, the low was 41. So it, it filled a gap. Um, there was a small gap here, so from 40 to 41. Um, so I thought it would fill, um, and then it had, had a few um, break over 41, and then kind of testing at this 41 area. And then also on the five minute chart, uh, you can see that it was trailing this five minute chart pretty well. 
Um, I was trying here, you can see a little wick that got me in, and then this little wick got me in. So I was trying to find this uh, five minute break of the 90 MA, but it never, it never closed below the five minute MA. So there was uh, a lot of wicks there. Um, because I, I saw on the 15 minute chart, there's a 40, 50, 40 area to be t uh, tested. Um, so I got in a little early there, um, and those false uh, five minute breaks kind of got me chopped in and out. Um, so I went in and out a few times here and took uh, quite a few, few losses. So that was a $169 loss. Um, Zion. So Zion had a breakout, a two day breakout here at the 1360. So I was watching that, as you can see, it's a cup and handle forming. Um, so here, and then it break out. So I went ahead and uh, I think I tried a few times here. I took, a, I think I took a loss in, I took a loss in here. So I tried to buy this here, uh, but it, it double top. Uh, so I sold here, took a loss, went here, sold here, took another loss. So this, both both of these losses for us around fifty dollar loss, um, and then I bought the breakout again, um, since it was creating this uh, flag. So I bought that breakout, I sold here and here, and pretty much covered the losses here, and, and pretty much break even from that uh, line trade D Y N E. So overall, uh, I still need to test my patience and uh, wait for my triggers. Really important, and just be disciplined. Um, because Uber, I think I over traded this ticker, took a few losses, but there wasn't any uh, great setups. And you can see that this this here was in this consolidation phase, which I don't like to tr uh, trade. It is better to wait till the overextension, and then you can cut your head off here. But uh, $200 is my max uh, daily limit, so pretty much I stopped trading after I hit a $200 loss. So yeah, overall, uh, down $203. Uh, hopefully I can stay more disciplined and size in big only on A plus setup and not choppiness. So as always, uh, I'd like to thank you uh, everyone for watching. And if you enjoy my content and would like to follow my uh, adventure and struggles through his day trading uh, don't forget to subscribe like and comment thank you bye, -bye.